Charles Sterrett, an actor who became a household name, was born on March 28, 1903, in Athol, Massachusetts. From a young age, he had a passion for the arts, which led him to pursue a career in acting. Sterrett's breakthrough role came in 1933 when he starred in the film The Prize Fighter and The Lady. His performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, setting the stage for a successful career in Hollywood. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Sterrett appeared in numerous films, including The Durango Kid, a classic western that became a fan favorite. He starred in a total of 65 films, many of which were westerns, earning him the nickname The Durango Kid. Despite his success in film, Sterrett remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his strong work ethic and his ability to connect with audiences, making him a beloved figure in the industry. In addition to his work in film, Sterrett also appeared on television, starring in the popular show The Range Rider. The show aired from 1951 to 1953 and solidified Sterrett's status as a Western star. Sterrett's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated today. His legacy lives on through his films and television shows, which remain popular among audiences of all ages. His talent, dedication, and humility serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and filmmakers around the world. Charles Sterrett was a well-known actor, best recognized for his role as the Durango Kid in a series of Western films. Sterrett's career spanned over two decades, and he appeared in more than 100 films. One film that defined Sterrett's career was The Durango Kid, released in 1940. This movie established Sterrett as a leading man in Western films and spawned a successful series of Durango Kid movies. Do you have a favorite Charles Sterrett movie or performance? Perhaps you know of a lesser known fact or anecdote about the actor that fascinates you. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Maybe you had the opportunity to see Starrett in person or have a keepsake from his career. Whatever your experience, we would be thrilled to hear about it in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will share many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Charles Sturrett's life and career. So, keep watching to learn more about this classic Western star. Charles Sturrett was born in 1903 in Athol, Massachusetts. His father, a successful businessman, and his mother, a schoolteacher, instilled in him a love for storytelling and performing. As a child, Sturrett would often put on plays for his family and neighbors. This early exposure to acting sparked his interest in pursuing a career on the stage. Sterrett's family moved to California when he was a teenager, where he continued to act in school plays and local theater productions. After graduating from high school, he attended the University of Southern California, where he studied drama and performed in various stage productions. One of Sterrett's key mentors during this time was his acting teacher, Gordon Phillips. Phillips recognized Sterrett's talent and encouraged him to pursue a career in film. In 1926, Sterrett landed his first film role in the silent movie The Johnstown Flood. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Sterrett appeared in numerous films, including westerns, comedies, and dramas. He became best known for his role as the Durango Kid in a series of B-Western films produced by Columbia Pictures. Despite his success in film, Sterrett remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to study acting and worked with various coaches and mentors throughout his career. One of his most influential mentors was actor and director John Ford, who directed Sterrett in several films and taught him the importance of authenticity and emotional truth in acting. Sterrett's upbringing, early exposure to acting, and key mentors all contributed to his successful career as a film actor. His talent, dedication, and humility earned him respect and admiration from his peers and fans alike. Charles Sterrett, an actor who graced the silver screen for over two decades, is worth celebrating. Born on March 28, 1903, in Athol, Massachusetts, Sterrett became a significant figure in the world of film, particularly in westerns. Sterrett's career began in the 1930s when he signed a contract with Columbia Pictures. He appeared in various films, including The Durango Kid, a series that made him a household name. The Durango Kid was a mass vigilante who fought for justice in the Wild West, and Sterrett's portrayal of the character was iconic. The actor's performances in these films were marked by his charisma and screen presence. He had a unique ability to convey strength, determination, and likability, making him a fan favorite. Sterrett's portrayal of the Durango Kid resonated with audiences, and the series became a classic of the Western genre. Despite his success, Sterrett remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in film throughout the 1940s and 1950s, appearing in various Westerns and dramas. 
1952, he starred in The Duel at Silver Creek, a film that showcased his acting range and versatility. Starrett's impact on the film industry is undeniable. He appeared in over 100 films, many of which have become classics. His portrayal of the Durango Kid has been celebrated and remembered by generations of fans. In conclusion, Charles Starrett's contributions to the world of film are worth celebrating. His talent, dedication, and impact on the Western genre have left a lasting legacy. Whether you're a fan of classic films or simply appreciate great acting, Starrett's work is worth exploring. As a young man, Charles Starrett found himself captivated by the magic of cinema. During his high school years, he often participated in school plays, showcasing his natural talent for acting. However, it was a chance encounter with a famous actor that truly ignited his passion for the craft. One day, while attending a local theater performance, Starrett found himself sitting next to Douglas Fairbanks Sr., a renowned actor known for his swashbuckling roles. Fairbanks noticed the young man's enthusiasm for the play and struck up a conversation with him. During their conversation, Fairbanks encouraged Starrett to pursue a career in acting, sharing valuable insights and advice. Inspired by Fairbanks' words, Starrett decided to take a leap of faith and moved to New York City to study drama at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. There, he honed his skills and learned the intricacies of the craft. He appeared in several Broadway productions before transitioning to film. Starrett's first film role came in 1933, and he quickly became a familiar face in Hollywood. Over the years, he appeared in numerous films, showcasing his versatility and talent. However, it was his role as the Durango Kid in a series of Western films that brought him widespread fame and recognition. The Durango Kid became a cultural phenomenon, and Starrett's portrayal of the character resonated with audiences. He became a symbol of justice and heroism, inspiring generations of viewers. Despite the success he found in the Durango Kid series, Starrett never lost sight of his passion for the craft. He continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, leaving a lasting mark on the world of cinema. Throughout his career, Starrett remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I've always believed that the most important thing in life is to do what you love, and to do it well. And that's exactly what he did, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. In 1984, the actor Charles Starrett made an appearance at the North Carolina Film Festival. During his visit to Worcester Academy in the mid-1980s, he spoke to students, one of whom was the future screenwriter Caitlin McCarthy. Starrett's career included a role in the 1932 film The Mask of Fu Manchu. Initially, Johnny Mac Brown was considered for the part of Terence Granville, but his contract with MGM was not renewed at the end of 1931. As a result, Starrett took on the role, replacing Brown. In The Mask of Fu Manchu, Starrett showcased his acting skills, delivering a memorable performance as Granville. The film was a significant milestone in his career, and his portrayal of Granville was widely recognized and appreciated by audiences. Throughout his career, Starrett demonstrated his versatility and talent as an actor, delivering compelling performances in various films and shows. His contributions to the world of cinema continue to resonate with audiences today, and his classic films remain popular and enduring. At the North Carolina Film Festival and Worcester Academy, Starrett shared his insights and experiences with aspiring filmmakers and writers. His visits left a lasting impact on those who had the opportunity to meet and learn from him. As a respected and accomplished actor, Starrett's legacy continues to inspire and influence future generations of filmmakers and writers. His impact on the world of cinema is a testament to his enduring talent and contributions to the industry. Thespians and film enthusiasts alike continue to appreciate and cherish his work, which remains a vibrant and captivating part of cinema history. Charles Starrett, an actor who graced the silver screen in numerous Western films, faced many challenges early on in his career. Born in 1903, he grew up in a family that struggled financially, which made his pursuit of acting an uphill battle. Despite these hardships, Starrett remained determined to make a name for himself in the industry. Initially, Starrett found it difficult to secure roles in films due to industry skepticism. Producers and directors were hesitant to cast him, unsure if he had the necessary talent and charisma to captivate audiences. However, Starrett refused to let this rejection discourage him. Instead, he used it as motivation to hone his craft and improve his skills. Starrett's resilience paid off when he was finally given the opportunity to star in a series of B-Western films. These films, while not as prestigious as some of the more prominent productions, 
provided Starrett with a platform to showcase his talents and establish himself as a leading man. Despite the limitations of working on B-movies, Starrett found creative solutions to make his performances stand out. He worked tirelessly to perfect his character's mannerisms, speech, and movements, creating a unique and memorable persona that audiences came to love. Moreover, Starrett's ability to connect with his fans off-screen was equally impressive. He made numerous public appearances, engaging with his fans, and promoting his films. This personal touch helped to endear him to audiences and solidify his status as a beloved Western star. In conclusion, Charles Sterrett's early career was marked by financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, his resilience and determination allowed him to overcome these obstacles and become a successful actor. Through his creative solutions and personal touch, Sterrett left a lasting impact on the Western film genre and continues to be celebrated by fans to this day. In the world of classic films, the name Charles Sterrett is often associated with memorable roles in notable productions. For instance, Sterrett stepped in to replace Clark Gable as Terence Granville in The Mask of Fu Manchu after MGM considered Gable for the part. Moreover, Sterrett's talent and charisma were such that he was also a guest at the 1980 Memphis Film Festival, where he was no doubt celebrated for his contributions to the film industry. In another instance, Starrett replaced Joel McCrea as Fleming Harvey in Our Betters after McCrea turned down the assignment. Initially put on suspension, McCrea was eventually replaced by Starrett, who brought his unique charm and presence to the role. These anecdotes serve as a testament to Starrett's enduring impact on the film industry and his ability to step into iconic roles with grace and skill. Charles Starrett's breakthrough moments were marked by groundbreaking projects and critical acclaim. In 1932, the actor caught the eye of critics with his role in The Purchase Price, where he starred alongside Barbara Stanwyck. This classic film noir showcased Starrett's ability to hold his own against established actors. A turning point in Starrett's career came in 1935 when he was chosen to play the lead in the popular Durango Kid series. This western show gained immense popularity and solidified Starrett's status as a leading man. The Durango Kid became a symbol of justice in the Wild West, and Starrett's portrayal resonated with audiences, making this series one of the most successful Western franchises in film history. The Durango Kid series also provided Starrett with a unique opportunity to develop his character over time. As the series progressed, the actor infused the Durango Kid with a blend of toughness and charm, which proved to be a winning combination. Critics praised Starrett's ability to balance these contrasting traits, making the Durango Kid a complex and enduring character. In addition to his work in film, Starrett made a significant impact on television. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, he starred in The Range Rider, a popular TV western. This show further solidified Starrett's status as a leading man and demonstrated his ability to adapt to the emerging medium of television. Collaborators and peers often spoke of Starrett's dedication to his craft. Director Leslie Selander, who worked with Starrett on several Durango Kid films, once said, Charles was a true professional. He always came prepared and knew his lines. He had a great sense of humor and made every day on set a pleasure. In conclusion, Charles Starrett's breakthrough moments were marked by his ability to adapt to different genres and mediums. From film noir to westerns and from film to television, Starrett left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His contributions continue to be cherished by classic film and TV enthusiasts. Charles Starrett, an actor from the early 1900s, is often compared to his contemporaries from the same era. Unlike some of his peers, Starrett's career was defined by his role as the Durango Kid, a character he played in numerous Western films. This consistency set him apart from other actors who frequently changed roles and genres, while many actors of his time focused on method acting and exploring the depths of their characters, Starrett's approach was more straightforward. He was known for his reliability and consistency, delivering solid performances that audiences could depend on. His unique qualities included his ability to convey a sense of authenticity and honesty on screen, which resonated with audiences and made him a popular leading man. Compared to his contemporaries, Starrett's filmography may not be as diverse or complex. However, his contributions to the Western genre and his unique approach to acting left a lasting impact on the film industry. His portrayal of the Durango Kid remains a classic example of the Western hero, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. In summary, while Charles Starrett may not have been the most versatile or complex actor of his time, 
His unique qualities and contributions to the Western genre make him a notable figure in the world of classic film. His authenticity and reliability on screen set him apart from his contemporaries and continue to resonate with audiences today. Charles Sterrett, an actor best known for his role as the Durango Kid, had a unique approach to his work. Unlike many actors of his time, Sterrett was not interested in fame or accolades. Instead, he was driven by a deep passion for storytelling and a desire to connect with his audience. Sterrett's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in Kansas, he developed a deep appreciation for the simple pleasures of rural life. This love for the countryside was reflected in many of his films, which often featured rugged cowboys and breathtaking landscapes. The actor's approach to his work was characterized by a strong work ethic and a meticulous attention to detail. He spent countless hours studying his characters, immersing himself in their backgrounds and motivations. This level of dedication was evident in his performances, which were marked by a rare depth and authenticity. Despite his success, Sterrett remained humble and grounded he never lost sight of his roots or the values that shaped his worldview. This authenticity resonated with his audience, who appreciated his down-to-earth charm and relatable persona. In many ways, Starrett's work transcended the boundaries of traditional filmmaking. His films were not just entertainment. They were a reflection of his own personal journey and a testament to the power of storytelling. Through his art, he was able to connect with audiences in a way that was both captivating and enduring. In the end, Charles Sterrett's legacy is one of passion, authenticity, and a deep commitment to his craft. His work continues to inspire and captivate audiences, serving as a reminder of the enduring power of storytelling. When Charles Sterrett visited Worcester, Massachusetts, he made it a point to stop by his birthplace, Athol, a small town where his father's factory was the primary source of employment. The actor, known for his public appearances, was always warmly welcomed in the tight-knit community of 11 f 554 residents in 1950. In one of his early roles, Starrett portrayed Terence Granville in The Mask of Fu Manchu, alongside Myrna Loy. During filming, retakes were frequently necessary due to the actor's enthusiasm, which was evident in his scenes while wearing only a loincloth. Starrett's faithful horse companion, Raider, was a beloved figure in the Durango Kid series. However, there were more than 30 horses that played the part throughout the show's run. Despite the substitutions, the bond between Starrett and Raider remained a defining characteristic of the series. Charles Starrett, an actor best known for his role as the Durango Kid, made a significant impact in the Western film genre. His career spanned over two decades, and he starred in more than 100 films. During the 1940s, when Westerns were gaining popularity, Starrett's portrayal of the Durango Kid helped define the genre. His character was a heroic figure, always ready to fight for justice, which resonated with audiences seeking escapism during turbulent times. According to film historian Brian Garfield, Starrett's Durango Kid was a classic example of the Western hero, a man of action, always ready to defend the weak and helpless. Starrett's influence extended beyond his on-screen persona. He was one of the first actors to perform many of his own stunts, which added authenticity to his performances and set a trend for future actors. Furthermore, Starrett's films often featured social commentary, addressing issues such as racism and corruption. This added depth to the Western genre, elevating it from simple entertainment to a platform for discussing relevant social issues. Director and film historian Peter Bogdanovich notes Starrett's films were more than just cowboy shoot-em-ups. They had a message, and that's what made them stand out. In addition to his influence on the Western genre, Starrett's work has inspired generations of actors and filmmakers. Actor and director Ron Howard cites Starrett as an inspiration, stating, The Durango Kid was a big part of my childhood. Starrett's portrayal of a heroic figure left a lasting impression on me. In conclusion, Charles Starrett's contribution to the Western film genre cannot be overstated. His portrayal of the Durango Kid, his daring stunts, and his incorporation of social commentary in his films have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire filmmakers today. Charles Starrett, one of the 17 founders of the Screen Actors Guild, had a notable career in film. In 1938, he returned to his college football and vaudeville roots to star with Jimmy Durant in the campus musical comedy feature Start Cheering. One interesting anecdote from Starrett's film career involves his work on The Mask of Fu Manchu. In a scene where Boris Karloff's character injects a mind control drug into Starrett's character, Karloff actually pushed the syringe into a baked potato placed next to Starrett's head, out of camera range. 
However, each time Karloff pressed the plunger down, the potato would explode, causing both actors to burst into laughter. Director Charles Brabin eventually gave up and dismissed them for the day, planning to shoot the scene the following morning. This incident highlights the camaraderie and lightheartedness that often occurs behind the scenes of film production. Despite any challenges or mishaps, the show must go on, and the end result is a piece of entertainment that can be enjoyed by audiences for generations to come. Charles Sterrett, the actor known for his role in the Durango Kid film series, was not just a talented performer, but also a man with a deep sense of personal values and interests that extended beyond the silver screen. Sterrett was born in 1903 in Athol, Massachusetts, and grew up in a close-knit family that instilled in him the importance of hard work, integrity, and community service. These values stayed with him throughout his life and informed his work both on and off screen. One of the causes closest to Sterrett's heart was the American Red Cross. He was a dedicated volunteer and supporter of the organization, often using his platform as a famous actor to raise awareness and funds for its efforts. During World War II, Sterrett worked tirelessly to promote war bond drives and even traveled overseas to entertain troops. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, Sterrett was also an avid outdoorsman and horseman. He loved spending time in nature and often incorporated his passion for horses into his work. Many of his films featured him riding horses and performing daring stunts, showcasing his love for the animals and the great outdoors. Sterrett's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work as an actor. He believed in using his platform to make a positive impact on the world and was committed to giving back to his community. His dedication to the American Red Cross and his love for horses were just a few examples of how he lived out these values in his daily life. In many ways, Starrett's life and work served as a testament to the power of using one's talents and resources to make a difference in the world. His legacy continues to inspire and resonate with audiences today, reminding us all of the importance of hard work, integrity, and community service. Charles Sterrett, a graduate of Worcester Academy, shared his alma mater with notable figures like Cole Porter and Abby Hoffman. This institution provided the foundation for his journey into the world of film. After high school, Sterrett pursued his passion for acting and became best known for his role as the Durango Kid in a series of Western films. His career took off in the 1930s and continued through the 1950s, making him a familiar face in the genre. The Durango Kid, portrayed by Sterrett, was a character who fought for justice in the Wild West. Audiences connected with this classic hero, and the films gained popularity over time. Sterrett's portrayal of the Durango Kid became iconic, leaving a lasting impact on Western cinema. Off-screen, Sterrett was dedicated to supporting the troops during World War II. He toured with the USO, performing in shows for servicemen and women overseas. His contributions to entertaining the troops were greatly appreciated and added another dimension to his career. Charles Sterrett's film legacy continues to be celebrated by fans of classic westerns. His work remains an enduring testament to his talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Charles Sterrett, an actor best known for his role as the Durango Kid, has left an indelible mark on the western film genre. His legacy is one of dedication and hard work. Having appeared in over 100 films during his career, the Durango Kid series, in particular, captured the hearts of audiences and solidified Starrett's status as a classic Western hero. When it comes to the future, Starrett's advice for aspiring professionals is timeless. He believed in the importance of staying true to oneself and one's values, even in the face of adversity. Starrett once said, I never wanted to be anything but an actor, and I was determined to make it happen, no matter what. This determination and passion for his craft helped him to succeed in a highly competitive industry. Starrett also understood the value of perseverance and hard work. He once stated, there's no substitute for hard work and dedication. If you want to succeed, you have to be willing to put in the time and effort. This advice is still relevant today and serves as a reminder that success does not come easily. In terms of contributions, Starrett's impact on the Western film genre cannot be overstated. His portrayal of the Durango Kid helped to define the genre and inspire future generations of Western filmmakers. Even today, his films continue to captivate audiences and serve as a testament to the enduring appeal of the Western genre. For those looking to follow in Starrett's footsteps, his advice is simple, stay true to yourself and your values, be determined and persistent, and be willing to put in the hard work and dedication required to succeed. By following these principles, aspiring professionals can honor Sterrett's legacy 
and make their own mark on the industry. Charles Sterrett's career as an actor was marked by both success and personal tragedy. Sterrett, who was best known for his role as the Durango Kid in a series of Western films, experienced a devastating loss when his son, David, died at the young age of 16. David's death was a shock to the entire family, and Sturrett struggled to come to terms with the loss. In fact, he was so affected by his son's passing that he briefly considered retiring from acting altogether. Despite this tragedy, Sturrett persevered and continued to work in the film industry. He appeared in numerous westerns throughout the 1940s and 1950s, and his portrayal of the Durango Kid became iconic in the genre. However, it's worth noting that Sturrett's career was not without its challenges. He often found himself typecast in Western roles, which limited his opportunities to explore other genres. Additionally, the Western genre itself began to decline in popularity in the 1960s, making it more difficult for Sturrett to find work. Despite these obstacles, Sturrett remained a respected and beloved figure in the film industry. His contributions to the Western genre were significant, and his legacy continues to be celebrated by fans of classic cinema. In the end, Charles Sterrett's career was marked by both triumph and tragedy. While he faced numerous challenges and personal losses, he persevered and left behind a lasting impact on the film industry. His portrayal of the Durango Kid remains a classic example of the Western genre at its best. Charles Sterrett, a true icon of the golden age of Hollywood, began his journey in 1935. His passion for acting was evident from the start, leading him to appear in over 150 films during his career. Sterrett is best known for his role as the Durango Kid, a classic Western hero who brought excitement and adventure to the silver screen. Throughout his career, Sterrett demonstrated a remarkable ability to captivate audiences with his charisma and talent. He starred in a series of popular Western films, which became a staple of American cinema. Despite facing many challenges in the entertainment industry, Sterrett persevered, always pushing the boundaries of what was possible in his craft. One of the most innovative aspects of Sterrett's career was his ability to adapt to changing times. As the film industry evolved, he embraced new technologies and techniques, ensuring that his work remained fresh and relevant. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of Sterrett's career is the way he used his creativity to transport audiences to new and exciting worlds. His films provided a much-needed escape from the challenges of everyday life, offering a sense of adventure and excitement that resonated with audiences of all ages. In the end, the story of Charles Sterrett is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. His passion for acting and his ability to innovate and adapt made him a true legend in the entertainment industry. And while the world may have changed since his time, the impact of his work continues to be felt to this day. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Charles Sterrett, an actor who left his mark on the film industry. His contributions to the world of westerns are still celebrated today. In particular, his role in the Durango Kid series showcased his talent and charisma. The Durango Kid series was a collection of films that aired from the late 1930s to the 1950s. Sterrett played the lead role, a masked vigilante who fought for justice in the Wild West. These films were popular during their time and have since become classics. What made Sterrett's portrayal of the Durango Kid so captivating? Perhaps it was his ability to embody the spirit of the Wild West or his charm and wit that shone through in each film. Whatever the reason, Sterrett's work in this series resonates with audiences even today. If you're a fan of classic westerns, you've likely seen Sterrett's work and can attest to its enduring appeal. For those who haven't yet had the pleasure, we encourage you to seek out these films and see for yourself what made Charles Sterrett such a beloved figure in the world of westerns. As you reflect on Sterrett's work and legacy, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think made his portrayal of the Durango Kid so iconic? What memories do you have of watching his films? We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this exploration of Charles Sterrett's work, be sure to like and share this post with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment.